Oftentimes, when we discover a species has gone extinct, it'll be years, even decades after the species has perished from the earth. Many species, from woolly mammoths to phyllocines, still have cryptozoologists looking for them. However, once in a while, we get to watch firsthand the extinction of a species, and the rabbit's friend limb tree frog is such an example. On September 28, 2016, the last of these frogs, named Tuffy, died at the Atlanta Botanical Garden. The species was originally from Panama and was only found in the rainforest near El Valle de Ante. It lived mostly in the higher canopies of the jungle, which led to some interesting behaviors and adaptations. The species had the ability to glide, and the tadpoles were raised into the canopies. After the mothers laid the eggs, she would leave and the father would remain. The lack of food for the tadpoles caused the tadpoles to eat the skin of their fathers. Like thousands of species of amphibians around the world, it was not immune to the chrytid fungus, causing the millions of amphibian deaths. The tree frog was first discovered in 2005, and in two, by 2006, several of them had been sent to Atlanta to preserve the species. The captive specimens never bred, and in 2009, the last female passed away. Finally, Tuffy passed away in September of 2016. While the loss of the species is a tragedy, we can still find hope. Millions of people have learned about this through the power of the internet, and hopefully this will cause increased awareness about the chrytid fungus. At the same time, scientists are fighting this horrific disease to save thousands of other amphibian species. If you want to hear this species call, go to the description of the video. It is very tragic to think that we have now lost it forever. This video is part of a series of videos about recently extinct animals, brought to you by Recently Extinct Animals Day. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and want more content, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a good day, and keep learning.